Hey guys, what is going on? It's Hamish from Income Stream Surfers. In the last video, I showed you how to add this kind of funky pattern to increase your branding. But there's a problem with this, and that is this massive, ugly footer. I've just spent an hour and a half working out how to reduce the size on this, and there's probably a better way to do it, but, you know, this is how I do it. So without further ado, let's get into it. First thing we want to do, of course, is go to our... Shopify store, Shopify 2.0 store, uh, debut theme, this is relevant for debut theme, this is relevant for Dawn, this is relevant for any uh, out of the box theme, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about how, how we actually know what we're editing. So you've probably seen this on other videos, but you just inspect here and you try to see what is being called and we can say that we can see that the footer uh, is being called here, but if we go a little bit further up, we can see Shopify section footer, uh, class Shopify section. And then if we go, um, there's the base CSS. If I do control F and do Shopify, Shopify section footer, uh, let's put that into here. Okay, it's not it's not letting me see it for some reason. I kind of wanted to see it, but okay, so we can see that it's Shopify section footer, so we know that it's a section. So we go to our assets. Sorry, we go to our section. Where is section? Uh, and then we can see footer dot liquid. Uh, this is another way that you can find out. You can see that it's calling section footer CSS. So we go down. We go to S. I mean, where is it? What is going on? Oh, hang on. Oh, it's in, it is in assets. Okay, so it's in assets, even though it says section, which is really confusing. Okay, so this is our footer. This is the CSS for our footer. So if we look here again, we can see what's being called. We can see footer content with two, this is the important thing here, the two underscores. So we hit control F and we look for footer content. And footer content top, we can see is being called footer content um, heading, uh, footer content newsletter, bottom, etc., etc. So what we're going to do is we're going to completely change all of this. So I'm going to remove all of the padding, first of all. So let's just remove all the padding from all of these. You can get rid of the margins as well and the row gaps and everything. This is what's making it big, basically, all of this stuff here. There's another thing that we're going to have to do, so just give me a moment. I'll be back when this is done. Okay, so that is everything deleted. Let's just save and see what it looks like now. Refresh. Okay, you can see that it's significantly smaller already, which is really, really good for us. Uh, but we want to make it even smaller, so how do we do that? We type height 150px. Is that right? Did I say 150? Yes. And you want to copy that and you just want to paste it under every um, every single footer content point. Uh, make sure you're doing it in the right place, guys. You want to be putting it after any original CSS. So like here and here. Okay. Let's save that and see what it looks like now. And there we go, guys. It's much smaller. I prefer this, although actually we've got a little bit of a problem here, which is the newsletter. Personally, I would just delete this um, because I think it, you, you can just put it anywhere. Like, honestly, you can add a newsletter sign up through the front end. So let's just quickly delete that. Um, so I OK, so there is actually one more step because I checked uh, after I released or was about to release the video. Uh, you have to also delete the flex wrapping here. The reason that we have to do that is because it, it wasn't working very well on mobile and mobile is incredibly important, obviously. So if I refresh this now, should look absolutely fine on mobile. Maybe it could do with a bit of spacing, but I don't actually know how to do that yet. So I'll work that out and I'll probably release a video on it. Wait, let's wait for this load. 
Okay, this is the final product. As you can see, all of this is looking fine. Um, I really, really like this transparent effect. Probably I would put a space between these two, but I'll work that out in another video. I decided to leave this in so you guys can understand what I have to go through trying to work out all of this stuff. Even though I really enjoy it, it can be quite frustrating. I tried a million different things. I almost destroyed my entire theme basically so this is another reason why you should definitely not be doing what I'm doing and use a duplicate theme when you're editing because if you're if you're messing around like this that and you hit save or and then exit then it's done for life a really really nice thing about the new Shopify um, is you can control Z and undo even if uh, you've left the page or even if you've uh, saved the page I mean so yeah, just bear that in mind and basically in about 20 minutes, I want to say, I wasted trying to work out how to do this in the, um, in the theme. And then I realized, of course, that I could have just been editing it on the kind of front end editor. Okay, the, the final step is actually very uneventful. I just removed the only block. Oh, this is how you do it. I'm so stupid. Okay. Just... Just kill me guys okay so that is how you make it smaller and then that's how you remove all of the stuff that you might not want you can just add a newsletter somewhere else on the page or on a completely separate page and as you can see personally I much prefer a footer like this and I'm gonna go do it on my clients website right now and I hope this helps you out this isn't really it's not supposed to be like I'm an expert Shopify developer showing you how to do things I'm just trying to save people time because this stuff is very time consuming and personally I enjoy it a lot. I enjoy trying to find out how to you know, do various things and I'm also creating a website for a client, for my, my boss actually. Uh, so all of the things I learn I'm inputting onto that website. Hope this helps and I'll see you very soon with the next one. Peace out.